Number 16, Illinois men's basketball lost to number 22, Maryland. What happened in that game? I'm, I'm going to break it down to you like I do on the dance floor. First of all, Maryland made 41, got 41 points in the first half compared to 34. And Il but Illinois got scored Maryland in the second half, 32 to 30. And I'm going to make this as a disclaimer. I know a player on Illinois. He was at Baylor. <laughs> Matthew Meyer. I know he, he's a good guy and all. But I know he's inconsistent. I know he is. Trust me. I've been there as a fan. And I cheered him on last year too. I mean, Illinois only had 10 bench points. But Maryland only had 10. That doesn't make sense on that. I, but first of all, Illinois shot 44.3% from the field. 27 for 61 to be exact. 5 for 20 on threes. Yikes. 7 for 8 on free throws. That's pretty good. 33 rebounds. 13 of those offensive. 8 assists. Okay, it just went away for whatever reason. I apologize for that. Five steals, seven blocks, 12 turnovers, 18 fouls. Maryland shot 44.8 I'm a 44.4% from the field, 24 for 54 to be exact, 9 for 23 on threes. That was the, definitely the difference. 14 for eight, 18 on free throws, 33 rebounds. They got out rebounded, but they had one more defensive rebound than, than Illinois with 21. I mean, 9 assists, which is more than Illinois, 3 steals, which is less than Illinois, 3 blocks, which is less than Illinois. 11 turnovers, less than Illinois, and only committed 13 fouls. So based on some of those numbers, it does make sense. And let's not forget that the Maryland starters outscored the Illinois starters. So what happens next for Illinois? Oh, that's the play that Jimmy V classic against number two, Texas. I tell you something, Matthew Meyer, is from Austin, Texas. And he he didn't want to go there. He was not offered there, I believe, out of, out of high school. That's even on Tuesday. The following game is Penn State. That's currently 6-2 at home. That's not going to be an easy game by any. I don't know how easy that game is. It, Alabama a and is the following game. And then it currently ain't in Missouri. So Maryland on the other hand has a five and two Wisconsin team that is scrappy. They got on Tuesday. The following a week from Sunday they even have to play number thirteen Tennessee in the Battle Hall Basketball Hall of Fame invitation on Brooklyn, New York. Mmm, that's tough. Two tough games. They got number 21 UCLA. And then they got, I mean, that's three tough games in a row. If you want to include that Wisconsin game, and I would include it. I would. And they play St. Peter's. And remember, they're, they were the team last year that stunned everybody. That went to the Sweet 16. So, I know there might be some changes there now. Probably is. But, you know. I'm pretty sure Matthew Meyer didn't. I don't think he got offered from Texas. Or if he did, he turned it down. But I'm going to check. But I know...
that he came to Baylor in 2018. Yeah, they offered him in 2015. So, but he chose not to go there. So, yeah, that's kind of what I thought. I think St. Peter's has a new head coach. I think so. Yep, they do. It's a first year head coach because uh, because their coach took Because Shaheen Holloway, that was at St. Peter's, is at St. Stephen Hall now. So, and he was at St. Peter's for four years. So, yeah. That's kind of what I thought. I mean, anyways, if you like this content, hit like and subscribe. And I'll see you guys later. It's going to point to subscribers and more by the end of this year sometime in the future.